I'm in a real good groove right now. I'm feeling good. Manif manifestations are good. I want to call it a groove. It's a good name, good word. Or I got a really good vibration going on that I'm pretty good at maintaining. And everything that in my life is reflected by that pretty steady vibration that I've got going. Exactly. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yes, it's very good. It kind of started several years ago. Doesn't matter. Yeah. The process. I mean, I've been to a few of these. And... Doesn't matter. <laughs> so here we are. Yeah. What here matters? we are, and now yes. what? Because if you look back even to the last whatever, you're diminishing the vibrational momentum that you've got going now. Why look back? Back is always weaker than now. Right. Yeah. Right. So now I can feel some amazing things bubbling to the surface. Obviously, I have this momentum going, and the desires that I've thrown into the vortex over the years, I know that they're coming to fruition because of the feeling, the manifestations and so forth, this groove, this momentum, this vibration. So I want to be more specific about how this energy is now bubbling up. Well, the reason that that feels good, once you're certain, and you seem to be, that you are steadily in alignment, then what happens is thoughts continue to occur to you that you can bring to more specifics. And that is satisfying. But it's not something that you need to do. It's something that you're allowing to happen. So do you meditate? Yes. <laughs> not, not in the traditional sense. Uh, sometimes I do, but... Um... Well, the reason we ask is because when you've really quieted your mind and thoughts begin to flow to you, you can feel the momentum in those thoughts and often some really specific things will occur to you. Now, you don't have to be in the state of meditation. You could just be really, really happy and something occur to you. But when you get that feeling of really wanting to do something, make some motion toward it right then and there, even if it's only writing it down so that you remember the feeling and what it was about. Because the specifics are occurring to you all the time. In the past, we have encouraged you to get in a good feeling place and to sit and to sort of script what you want, sort of like you're writing a screenplay. And that's a very productive way of allowing your juices to flow more specifically. This is what we want to define with you. All of you can hear this will be helpful to everyone. Logically, what seems more beneficial to you? More productive, more beneficial, and more good feeling? More alignment or less alignment? More alignment. So within the alignment to source energy or receiving mode of source, or the receiving mode of the spin-off of man's conscious thought, is still receiving in either case, yes? So there is this station I'm choosing, yes? And then there's attention to the thought which increases momentum, yes? Sort of follow? I can be tuned in and get that momentum going, and I can be really worried about something and get that momentum going. Momentum will happen no matter what station that I'm receiving from. You follow? So, which is better? Connected to source or otherwise? Source. And momentum in either case, yes? Which is better? Momentum with source or momentum otherwise? Source. Now here's the hard question. Which is better? Momentum with not source or no momentum? No momentum. You're very wise. So the reason that we're asking you like this is because a lot of people, they're so used to being human and action-oriented that they want to just get into it and start thinking about it. But if you're connected here rather than here and you're writing about it, then you're adding momentum to your doubt and your worry and your fear. In other words, when you know what you don't want and you're trying to overcome it and you're offering effort about that, you're not improving your momentum here. You are locking in more in that lower momentum. Are you following? So what we're getting at, the only time that you want to strive for more specifics is when you know you're feeling good. 
So when you're feeling good, talk about it, dream about it, gather information about it, put things in your book of positive aspects about it, get specific when you're feeling good. But when you're not feeling good, take a nap, go to the beach, do something to break the evil spell. So what are you asking? Um, <laughs> I, I feel... Because we can feel you trying too hard. And trying too hard is what people do when they're trying to overcome their own momentum that's going. So many people offer so much effort to compensate for what they're not doing with their energy. Well, my main thing is, is lately I've, I've achieved my, my groove, if you will, based on just generalities, keeping things very general. Because it is easier to be tuned into who you are when you're speaking in general terms than when you're speaking in specific terms, isn't it? Because the specific things haven't come about yet. And so? And so with that... that well, here's our question. Do you think that you have to do this? When you get into your vehicle to drive somewhere, do you have the urge to open the hood and get under there and work with the belts and the pistons and the engine and make the oil run? Definitely not. So you know that there's an engine that's doing its work, and what do you do? You just decide where you want to go. So why is this different? Why is this different? It's, it's not, and I can sense that. You try too hard. You try too hard from a feeling of inferiority or weakness or being behind or whatever. And so do you believe that you are a vibrational being? Absolutely. And do you believe that there is a vibrational version of what you want already accomplished by you and tended to by your inner being? And do you believe that your inner being is aware of all of that? And do you believe that you'll receive the impulse when you're in the right vibration? Yes. And do you believe that anything else is really a worthwhile endeavor? No. And it's funny you said impulse because that's... You see, your parents made you do stuff you didn't want to do. And so you got used to doing stuff that you didn't really want to do. And now you think that that's how you get stuff done. You just do stuff that you don't really want to do. And then the dance... Judges will give you big scores. <sighs> I love you. But what you really want to do is believe that life has caused you to create wonderful things and that your inner being knows what all of them are. And so if you'll just trust and chill just a little more and stay in that groove and know that you're in that groove and care about that groove, care about how you feel, and then follow impulses that come, we promise you, that consistent alignment will bring more specifics because the laws of the universe would not allow anything less than that. You say, more and more and more and more will occur to you until you will feel like this incredible multitasker where so much is happening simultaneously. You're just in the flow with all of it. And about then, you'll stop trying to prove worthiness through your action. You'll stop trying to get any marks on the chart about anything. You'll come to realize that You've got all the marks on the chart that anyone could ever receive, that Source adores you and is with you and is eager about your witnessing of your own manifestation of your own things that you've put into your vortex. So now where are you? I'm in love, basically. Um, they all I, got it. They I, all got it, too. Yeah, I love the way this has all come together because, I mean, you even talk about when we were kids and I had another question about my daughter and how they this sort of all dovetails together. Yeah. yeah, it's perfect in the unfolding. And I can feel my stance in the vortex when I'm keeping it general. One of the reasons why I'm here and I'm asking the question, feel free to pin me down. <laughs> I'm certainly willing to, to do the work. We think you found the sweet spot and now you're talking yourself out of it. Don't you? Right. For no good reason. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm rationalizing that. Stop I have, it. have this. Yeah. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. I went to an Abraham seminar and they didn't answer any questions. They just told us all to feel good and I want my money back. We think this is a really good time for a segment of refreshment.